Fine. So, Kiran, welcome you all on your video. So, can you introduce yourself before moving towards the our actual technical subject? Yes, sir. Uh, hi, good afternoon, sir. My name is Kiran Deepkar. I am from Amritsar, city in Punjab. I have done my schooling from Shri Guru Harikrishan Public School in Amritsar. Currently, I am pursuing my graduation in Bachelor of Technology in Computer Science and Engineering from Guru Nanak Dev University in Amritsar. In my third year, I started preparing for competitive exam in eight. I secured All India rank of 1137. I am a hardworking, self-motivated and a disciplined person. My strength is being an optimistic person, quick learner and an adaptable person. My biggest weakness is time management. However, I am working hard to overcome this. So right now in my last semester, I'm doing my BTEC project on handwritten digit recognition, uh, which is an ML project that aims to uh, uh, accurately detect the handwritten digits. I am highly interested in pursuing a career in BAR. So, um, what is the great thing? What is the, the most thing you like about the BI, BARC? Why you join so, BARC? Uh, so, it is one of the uh, most prestigious organization. Any graduate would aspire to work for this uh, due to the following benefits. Firstly, it is a government job, uh, job security and uh, stable income. Secondly, it provides very a uh, wide range of benefits such as health insurance, medical facilities, retirement benefits. So it has a, a career growth options, and the last bit uh, provides healthy work life balance, which is very important for overall well being. So I think you are saying that it's a government job. That's um, that means it's a stable job. It means you you have some doubt on your caliber. That's why you're just fixing your job, and right now just trying to fix your job as a stable option. No, actually, uh, getting a stable job is very important in today's unpredictable environment. So I don't want to go for private sector. Like How you can say that it's an unstable environment? Unstable environment for who? Maybe they That's can work. They may be some employee who are working in from the last ten year in an organization, and he or she will be fired due to recession. So, are you able to think that he or he is or she is not capable to get one new job? No, he may be cap He or she may be capable of getting new job, but I am um, uh, saying that I uh, I am uh, more interested in uh, in BERC. So, can you tell me uh, what are the ongoing projects in BARC? Okay. Have you gone through that? Mm -hmm. Where is the headquarter of BARC? In Mumbai, Trombay. Okay, and so who is the main director of BARC right now? Okay. So what type of technologies in BARC? The people are used like what type of project or mainly BARC concern about what? It's about atomic energy. And, okay, very good. Anything else? Um, okay. So, so my first feedback is try to go and at least know about the BARC uh, when it is established with the current director with the previous one and what are the great achievements done by BRC in the recent year and on what type of projects they are working on. Right? If, if you yes. want to note down, then you note down. Otherwise, that is be uploaded on the panel and you can go and list out all of this. Okay? So now move on the technical subjects. So you prepared the algorithm and data structure. Fine. My one more data only data structure, okay. My one point is like you said that like you secured 1100 rank this time in gate. It means it's so that you are a very hard, hard working person and intelligent. Fine, because you are, it's, uh, at least your gate score defines your personality. Fine. Why not you go for higher studies like in IIC or in other IITs? You may get a good, good institute and you can pursue your journey there. Uh, Why not you just, just want to stable your life? Yeah, uh, pursuing an MT can be definitely a good option for those who want to further their studies and uh, gain specialization in a particular field. 
but however i believe that uh, i uh, i it can provide me a like platform for me to apply uh, to apply my practical skills and knowledge uh, moreover it, uh, there are many benefits so it totally depends on one's choice either to pursue an mtech or uh, join the arc so you think that uh, the whole topic today is trending technology topics are the ai ml and all these stuff so have you gone through your bachelor's regarding these subjects Uh, yes sir i'm very uh, so i think you are a bit comfortable with those technologies yes can i say like this Mm -hmm. somewhat, uh, somewhat like because uh, whatever the project going on um, so i think so that most of the cases we are implementing the training technologies okay so the you know you don't think so that it's a great option to go and do some mastering in the recent yeah, but sir i want to apply my practical skills and knowledge okay so you want to apply for practice you want to just apply your knowledge and do some implementation work fine so can you okay. tell me till now how much practical you have done you can you tell me your project work so where you can implement all the, your learnings yes sir uh, i have started my project two months back and uh, i have uh, done in a uh, uh, tensor flow version 2.9.3 and uh, which is an open source version for ml text and uh, there uh, there is a numpy library for numerical computation and matplotlib for visualizing data uh, so why there we is go a... for numpy why not we are just using some standard arrays instead of numpy what is the advantage of numpy over array Uh, for uh, use, it is used for numerical computation. Uh, we can do numerical computation with the help of array also. Mm -hmm. It is little bit faster than array. In array, we can store other data structure also, right? In numpy, we only store numbers. That is more faster in nature, right? Fine. So now moving towards the data structure point. So can you just tell me what is stack? Stack is a linear data structure which follows uh, first in last last out principle. That is the element which is inserted first is the last one to come out. Can you tell me some application of stack? Yes, in uh, undo operation or redo operation in browser in web browser when we. go back to the uh, previous page or the next page it is with the help of stack moreover uh, matching parentheses or balancing html tag uh, in uh, like a stack of files of book uh, in for evaluating arithmetic expression okay and what is the drawback of stack <laughs> what is the drawback of stack um uh, when uh, like when we um, implement the stack using array uh, we need to uh, fix the size and uh, uh, this size should be known at the compile time this so when we are trying to declare a stack there is a requirement of fixing the size like array mm -hmm. what, what? there is dynamic when we declare it stack. using when we uh, declare it using uh, when we implement it using stack then there is prop uh, like when we implement stack using an array then this is easy. fine so array or um, stack so some stack is dynamic data structure or static data structure it uh, when implemented as uh, using array it is static and when implemented as a linked list it can be dynamic Like how we can, can uh, do, how you can implement stack using linked list? Can you give me an right idea? Yes, uh, like uh, using the linked list first, uh, uh, we can declare the stack, and we can like first increase the top, then insert our element, and uh, to do pop, uh, popping or delete operation, we just uh, to give the uh, top value to the uh, item, and then. Uh, push back our top pointer. So, with the help of like, singly linked list, can we implement stack? Yes, sir. With the help of single li linked list, can we implement stack? Ah, uh, no. What is the problem? 
because uh, we can't uh, like traverse back uh, like pop popping of operation can't be done using single list uh, using double link can you tell me what is malloc and calloc yeah malloc is uh, they both are used for dynamic memory allocation the major difference between malloc and calloc is uh, like when we get the memory using malloc and if we don't initialize it we get garbage value and uh, using calloc if we don't initialize the value we will uh, it will be initialized to zero they both provide contiguous memory allocation dynamic this one is faster malloc so it Why? uses first fit because it uses first fit algorithm malloc uses first fit Hmm. or i can say it does not require to initialize the memory that's why it is yes. yes. right how error is handled with the help of malloc and calloc calloc uh, what the returns what malloc returns it is a void pointer we can type cast it according to our type like void star and if we want to store it in integer we will declare an integer and we will just type cast it fine So, which one uses more memory, calloc or malloc? Um, I think calloc. Calloc, calloc uses more memory than malloc because it initializes the memory to zero, which requires additional memory. Fine. So, can you tell me some applications of redo and undo? Yeah. Um. Like. Uh. Like when we draw something in a paint, or uh, like when we write something in a word document, uh, if we type like something that is wrong, we can just undo it and then redo it. Like in a paint also, when drawing pictures. Can you tell me the time complex complexity to insert an element in double link list? Uh, at what position we have to insert? Like in the beginning or? Or can you tell me some applications of double link list? Uh, sir, I I I was asking at what position we uh, need to insert. Like in the beginning, we need to insert, or in the end. Worst so case, for like, what scenario I have to tell the time complexity? If we talk about in the beginning, how much time it will take? Order of one constant time. We just last. need to modify. Like uh, in the last, we need to traverse the whole link list, so it becomes order of n. Great. Can you tell me some applications of double link list? Yes, uh, double link list uh, where we uh, then go to forward and backward. Like in a presentation, like slideshow, we can uh, come back at the first slide and then at last uh, next slide also. Then where we need to uh, go back and then uh, forward without traversing the whole link without traversing the whole. So move on, moving on the feedback part here. So I think if we talk about the technical subjects, you have a great knowledge regarding the technical subjects. Fine. Right? So keep it up. And whenever you always, whenever you are like going through the any topic, then always keep in mind one question that why why not like this? Okay. So like it enhances your learning. And if I talk about the general like personality part. So whatever you answer, you are delivering. Your eye contact is good. Your expressions are fine. But still, you have to go through like some basic organizing. What about the organization and the projects and all these things? Okay. Otherwise, yes, it's very good. fine. Yes, thank you. And I like. I want to ask. Uh, like we have got the slots for booking interview. Like so, uh, which dates can I like select? Like in the uh, first one or middle or end or. So um, I think um, like um, what is the date? Sir, available dates are like thirty and thirty first May, but I can't uh, select this because of my university project. So it is the final date in my university. So then it's some six, seven, eight, ninth June or thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So you can go with I six, seven, eight, nine. Don't worry. If you want to go for fifteen, sixteen, that is not a big issue again. Because the people are just wanting to see and the people, so okay. So if you wait, not in the very last. So we have enough time. So do one thing again. Prepare for stack 
data structures, tag, queue, link list, and always try to find out the practical implementation. As you already know about the practical implementation of each and every stuff, that sounds great. But still, as um, we can easily think about the algorithm and data structure part, but if you are going to prepare some other subject like OS or DBMS, then each and every time you think what is going on at the back end. Like if we are saying that it is a process, then how a process, when a program converted to a process, what's the things going on at the back end? We are saying that we can have an abstract model of ready queue waiting queue so what is actually going on when a process enters into a waiting state fine so internally what are the pointers or what are the data chains or what are the memory chains what are the informations and the backend going on fine so have to be always try to go with the basics and find out the reason behind that right because gate preparation is somewhat different from bargain okay? so there is no need to go on any new topic, but whatever you have read till now, just go and find out the solutions of why and why. Yes. Right. And yes. again, it's a great interview. So keep practicing on. You have enough time. So always try to contact me and I'll give us some time. So accordingly, you can prepare one subject and then go to the snap. Okay. Okay, sir, do I need to like give more snap of DS or I can shift to another subject? I think you at least you have to prepare four subjects, fine. Right? Yes. And at least one subject, one with the linear algebra. Okay. Right? Okay. You can go with the linear algebra, try to find out the applications of linear algebra where we can use icon value, icon vector by we find the determinant, what is the cofactor, what is the significance of those values. Fine. Sir, can you tell me the source from where I should prepare uh, linear algebra? Do one thing you no, there is no need to go for like solving the problems. What you have to yes. do is just go and find out the properties of cofactor determinant and matrices and eigenvalue, eigenvector. Right? And some Kelly Hamilton theorems properties, why we are using Kelly Hamilton theorems. So always keep in mind that whenever you are trying to read any topic, so always keep in mind at least relate something, right? So why we go for vectors to this study, okay? And just Google out, these are very simple problems. And you will, at least you have to go with two to three slot for linear algebra, okay? So that is very important. If you are implementing something, then it's very important. And second thing is try to like mm, go mm, uh, deep dive into your project. What are the terms you are going to use on? on which language you are going? Or like the same problem, why not why, why not you put it like and why TensorFlow, why not other sources, okay? Other tools, right? Yes. Okay, great, Kira. So please fix the next slot, right? Yes.